Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you, coming here up to Bastille Day. What do we got here today? The 12th? 12th of July. It is CPI Day. We. What else do we got? Oh, we got Bank of Canada today as well. Wow. CPI 2.30, Bank of Canada 4 o'clock. RBNZ did uh, did nothing with rates. Kind of get the feeling Canada is going to hold tight as well. Um, although many expect them to raise 25 up to 5. So let's see. Let's see what's going on out here. Man, we got carried out yesterday and that fucking dollars are holy shit. We tried to get long at sixty. You can see it's at forty six now. It was beautiful, beautiful trade. Um obviously stopped out on that. Um not really sure why dollars are is down here. It seems a little bit overdone, but we clearly got that wrong. Equities moving towards their highs. Uh I'll tell you what, though, the market is really pricing in a dovish one here. Um, if you look around, dollar yen is on the 139 handle. Um, dollar Swiss is 87.70. Um, this is a big fall for the dollar. The other conundrum is Euro Swiss. Why is Euro Swiss on its knees here at 74 these are the range lows historically been through them what's been the low in euro swiss wow in asia 68 <laughs> man we also got that wrong as well um what did we get right we're long gold um that looks pretty decent we're right on this trend line here i'm not sure you can add here um Pre CPI, you don't want to you don't want to be holding a packet of gold right at the money, uh, right at the entry point. But this is something to watch for. We think um, a daily close above this line, and um, you know the bottoms in. You can see this; it looks very constructive. We've had this sort of rounding bottom here. Um, it wasn't a massive capitulation low down there at 80, 1890, but it was capitulatory enough. First sellers were through 30, and then the hopers uh, left stops below the figure. Um, but now this thing looks this thing looks pretty steady. We're 50 bucks from the lows, um, and again, if CPI comes in lower, this will ramp. I have a feeling there's no chance. <clears throat> the CPI is going to really fall out of bed the way the market is pricing here. So if you're just starting to look at gold, you might want to just stand down. This was the big question uh, on everybody's mind. Is this going to be the week that 111 trades here on Eurodollar? I mean, it certainly is setting up that way. We saw all the headlines yesterday and all the financial newspapers about all the hedge funds buying European equities. Uh, this is euro dollar positive. Obviously, these hedge funds are are all priced in dollars. Uh, there is some FX if you've got to buy European stocks. Um, this is helping euro dollar. Dollar general weakness is helping euro dollar. Uh, stocks higher is helping euro dollar. Crude higher is helping euro dollar. A lot of things working in euro dollar's favor. Um, long euro dollar is seems to be the right right trade. If you're long euro dollar and long gold, which we are, uh, just be careful, right? Um, it's kind of the same trade. Not much to say going forward. Uh, it's now just a waiting game. It should just sort of fluff. The market should just sort of fluff around here. Um, and then uh, we're going to get some real action at 2.30. So... Let's look at the levels uh, just after lunch and see if there's any interesting entries to be had. Look at cable. First time the 130 is probably a sell on cable. Um, but anyway, that said, 
euro and gold are our focus. Licking our wounds a little bit, having got dollars R and euro Swiss wildly wrong yesterday. Um, but such is life, such is life in, uh, in the trade as a trader. Just got to move on. All right, let's see what happens this afternoon. Good luck out there, peeps. Catch you tomorrow.